you're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome to the shop, shop. Welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome to the shop, shop. Welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome to the shop. With the clippers and the mic, you know we got it live, live. You're welcome, welcome, you're welcome to the shop, shop. Welcome, welcome, you're welcome to the shop, shop. Welcome, welcome, you're welcome to the shop. With the clippers and the mic, you know we got it live, live. Welcome to the shop, shop. Welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome to the shop, shop. Welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome to the shop. With the clippers and the mic, you know we got it live, live. You're welcome, welcome, you're welcome to the shop, shop. Welcome, welcome, you're welcome to the shop, shop. Welcome. Welcome to the Step Your Game Up, Get Your Name Up series, a four DVD series. Brought to you by the Antique Barber, Levels Barbershop, and Barber World TV. I'm your host, KZO, a.k.a. Zo Mega Millions, a.k.a. the Diddy of the Barber Game. Welcome. In this DVD series, we're going to give a blowout afro with a tape. First and foremost, you always want to wash a person's hair before you cut them, unless they're getting a texturizer or a perm. Reason being, it cleans off the follicle of dirt and grease, making it a lot easier for your clipper to cut the hair. After the hair is washed, it needs to be dry. With this blowout tapered haircut, you want to dry the hair. So I'm using a blow dryer with a, a pick tooth attachment, which helps me stretch each strand of hair and have it standing straight up. Notice I'm also going through it with a small comb to, to, to finally lift all the hairs. After that, you want to pick out the hair and stand it up. You want to pick upward and outward, not forward, not backward. You just want to pick upward and outward. Now here we're going to start to cut. First, I clean my clippers. At this point, I'm using a 70s Ulster 76 and a number one blade attachment. This is where I'm going to create my first line to taper from with. I'm going to start at the nape of the neck. This will allow you to decide whether it's short enough or if there's any is room for error if you start in the back. So always start in the back. So if you have to make any corrections, you start in the front. It is hard to fix. Now I'm gonna do the temple. This is a tapered blowout. So I'm making my first line for the back and the temples on both sides. And once again, that's a Ulster 76 clipper with a number one attachable blade. Now I change my clipper. I'm using the Andes Masters and a 3 8 guard. With this guard, I'm just gonna bring down some of the bulk of the hair around the portions that need to be tapered. So with a downward stroke, I'm combing down and I'm, with a downward stroke, bringing down some of the bulk of hair to make my blend smooth. Now I'm using a 1 8 guard to start blending the hair to erase that first line I made. So that's a 1 8 guard on the Andes Master. I'm coming with an upward scooping stroke to blend in the hair. And that's a 1 8 guard on the Andes Master. Now I'm going to a 1 16th guard on the Andes Master to bring down the line some more. And while I'm stroking upward, I'm eventually closing my clipper. You have notches on the side of the Andes Masters, four notches. So you want to start at number one and then work it all the way down to zero. This is also a technique I use 
for when I'm lining up a client. I'm using a Oster 76 and a one and a half attachable blade. I'm bringing down the bulk of the hair in the front hairline. This will allow your hairline to last longer and for you to give a much crisper shape up. When there's bulks of hair after you give someone a shape up and they comb their hair, their hair will come right over where you shaped up and it'll look like they'll need to shape up sooner. So if you taper down the hair in the front hairline before you line it up, it allows you to have a longer lasting and more crisp shape up. Now I'm using the Andis T outliner to give them a shape up. You want to start from the middle when you're giving a shape up to someone. You don't want to start from the left or right because sometimes people's hairline are lopsided. And if you start from the lopsided side, when you come around, it's going to be hard to fix. You need to start your balance from the center, go left, and then right is the best way for measurement. Also, when you're giving someone a shape up, you want to have them tilt their head back a little bit. This will allow you to see a straight line of cross. Remember, your point should be at a 45 degree angle pointing towards the pupil of the eye. And I'm gonna repeat this process on the right side. Now notice that I'm doing the shape up before I actually start sculpting the afro because you have to build a foundation. If you have a straight line across and along the sides, you know that your symmetry can be correct if you have somewhere as a foundation, your base. So you wanna create your hairline before you actually start sculpting your afro cut. Sometimes people cut the afro and then do the line and then they realize that the afro is lopsided. This way, you can use it as a measuring point to make sure each side is symmetrically correct. Now I'm giving him a round shape up in the back, just coming down the left side of the neck, down to the nape of the neck. You should always keep your haircut symmetrical. If the haircut is round, they should have a round back. If the haircut is square, like a flat top, you wouldn't give a person with a flat top a round back. You would then give them a square back. So you want it, your shape up to correlate to, to the overall haircut. just coming around doing the same thing on the right side as was done on the left. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to sculpt the afro. Also, I've changed from my master clipper to a surgical blade. This is a thinner blade which allows you to cut the hair much more crisp. When sculpting, you want to use a surgical blade. So I'll usually keep two masters in my drawer, one with a regular blade and one with a surgical blade, or also called the fade blade. You're not gonna have two blades in one clipper and take the screws off and put on a new blade in between clients. So you, you're better off having two masters. So 
So see I'm coming with a smooth stroking motion. Also, you want to use two hands as a barber. You want to learn to use your left and your right hand. Notice that I've come to the from the right side to the left side. That's because I can use two hands. If I couldn't, you would have to continuously turn your client and cut on a backwards fashion. You want to cut the hair in the same flow and the same stroke. I'm going across the top of the head, just giving it a, a light, semi-symmetrical, semi-flat top on this tapered blowout afro style of haircut. You can see that it's nicely symmetrical because I have my foundation, I have my front line. I'm just lightly going across the head, making it all even, taking off just a, just a, a 30 seconds of a, of a hair strand. I saved it back for last. It's gonna come downward with a nice stroke. See that left hand, right hand. You have to learn to use both your hands. You also want to dust off your customer every now and then to keep them comfortable. Now we're just going to shape up the goatee. And once again, that's my 76, one and a half blade. Just bringing down the hair a little bit, smoothing it out. Andy's T outliner just to shape up his goatee. Finishing off with a nice clean look. Now basically, just a little freehand scissor. See if I catch any loose strands. To get those little fine areas that the clipper may be a little too bulky to get to. See how I'm turning the chair? I'm not walking around my client, I'm turning the chair. And there you have it, a tapered afro haircut, also known as a blowout or a tapered blowout. So basically I'm gonna give you a recap of what was done. First of all, we want to shampoo our client to make sure his hair is clean and crisp. Next, we have to dry the hair. So we're going to use a, a hand blow dryer to dry the hair with a tooth comb attachment. Also, I'm using a small fine tooth comb to stretch each strand of hair and let it stand straight up. Then I'm going to create my first line with my Ulster 76 one and a half detachable blade. After that, I'm going to bring down my bokeh hair with my masters and my 3 8 guard. From there, I'm going to move down from a 3 8 guard to a 1 8 guard, down to a 1 16th guard. 
After that, I'm going to create my baseline, which is my shape up all the way around the head. After that is done, I'm going to use my Andes Master Surgical Blade to sculpt my afro. From then, I'm going to shape up his goatee. And finish it off with a light scissor freehand. There you have it, the tapered afro, the blowout, antique barber, Levels Barbershop, Barber World TV. Step your game up, get your name up, volume one. I came up with the concept of the antique barber because there's just really nothing out there giving homage to the barber. It feels like people are forgetting about the barber. When we complete your style, so when you go to the store, you might buy some jeans, you buy a shirt, you buy some sneakers. You gotta get a haircut. All that means nothing without a haircut, without your beard trim, something like that. So since we're finishing style, I figure we might as well become part of style. All the barber jack out, jackets out there wore it. I had to bring something with concept, something with flavor, some imagery, the tools we use, the razor, the clipper, the comb, the pick. So I'm doing things like that. We got Barber World DVD coming at you. It's the first shoot of the Antique Barber photo shoot. Holla. Look out for Barber World TV coming to a town near you. Get your game ready. We're coming in with the cameras. We want to know what you got to say about yourself, what your customers got to say about yourself. It's a live documentary, Barber World DVD and TV. www.levelsbarbershop.com www.antiquebarber.com www.barberworldtv.com We're going global, baby. You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome to the shop, shop. Welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome to the shop, shop. Welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome to the shop. With the clippers and the mic, you know we got it live, live. You're welcome, welcome, you're welcome to the shop, shop. Welcome, welcome, you're welcome to the shop, shop. Welcome, welcome, you're welcome to the shop. With the clippers and the mic, you know we got it live, live. Welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome to the shop, shop. Welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome to the shop, shop. Welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome to the shop. With the clippers and the mic, you know we got it live. live.